you want to start talking about something else? Let's talk about running. Let's do our podcast. Let's do our podcast. Yeah. Let's this do that. Comment talk is make me roast out. Disgusting. Oh. All right. Welcome. Welcome to episode 42 of... Our Run Club. Yes, our Run Club podcast. Yes, sir. Episode 42. Oh, and we're getting up there. We are. It's crazy. We're over the hill now. We're over the hill. Yep. 42. Lordy, lordy. We're well over 40. <laughs> we are. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Grim Reaper? No. Um, <laughs> just around the corner. Right just, just around the corner. Um, yeah, so how was your week, dude? My week, it's been good. It's That's been good. Great. It's a whirlwind as always. Always been, you know, something going on. Yeah, always like rushing. Always, I feel like I'm always rushing places. Right. You know? But especially um, this time of year, man. This, I'm like, this time of year, too. Place. Yes, around the holidays. Um, and, and it seems that everyone else is rushing, too. Yep, they're all on rush people driving like nuts like like yeah like mad dogs <laughs> driving behind yeah. the wheel yeah Big mad dogs behind the wheel um flying down the road tailgating and cutting you off uh, <sighs> yeah so anyway how was your running week running week was good yeah that's good yep. got some miles in and uh felt good so can't complain about that how about you good deal yeah you know this week's been kind of iffy yeah I usually, uh, weeks it yeah, you know, just one of those weeks. I ran pretty much every day except for yesterday, and I don't think today I'll be able to get anything in. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm trying to look at the next three days, and I'm really having a hard time trying to fit a run in. Right, I yeah. mean, it's like, well, I've just, I've just, I don't think I don't think it's going to happen. It's just squeezed, man. There's so many squeezed things going on. I don't know yeah. what the deal is. So, it's a bummer. I'm going to have to try to be creative, see what I can do. Right. Or just right. take some planned rest days. Yeah, I might just run in place. That's a good idea. Well, I like doing stuff. <laughs> Get a couple of miles in that way. It's not a bad idea. Just up and down. While you're eating, while you're in the shower. Right. Going to the bathroom. Just um, in place. Walking down the road to get to your car. That's what I, I plan on just running everywhere. So like in the house, if I have to get the dishes out of the dishwasher or something, run there. Boom. It's like, it's like my kids. They, they do that all the time. Yeah. But it adds up. So you know, you need to grab the dishes, then you gotta go up to the bathroom, run to the bathroom. Yeah. It's like keeping track of your steps, you know what I mean? You, right. You're doing it around the house, you know. Um, so I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get at least five to ten miles in. Just, just doing that. Oh, cool. There you go. You get your miles in. You right. get your running for the day. Exactly. Excellent. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> anyway, what are we talking about today, Ray? Um, not running around the house. Not running around the house. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That could be an episode right there. <laughs> but maybe since we have to kind of discuss that a little bit, that'll be a future episode. But we'll talk about running around the house or <laughs> running in place as an episode. That'll be a crazy episode. I like it. But no, so we're not talking about that. Um, we're going to talk about indoor, indoor track and field. Right? Right. I mean, it's, yes. it's getting to be that season, at least up here in New England, mm. um, where people, some folks, go inside and they compete. Run around circles. Run around circles on an indoor track. Yeah, man. Um, I so love it. I, I think it's kind of cool. I, I really enjoy it. Do they do it in like other cold places, like Canada? I'm sure that they do. They must have indoor tracks I would imagine. in Canada. I would imagine they probably have indoor tracks even in warmer places. During, really? I would imagine. Like but in Florida, you think, you think they're doing indoor track? I don't know about that. Maybe for competition. Maybe. You know, like, I mean, think universities. And, right. And Do they travel, though, to New England? See, we should have done some research. I, should, they do. <laughs> yeah. I know that they do. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I mean, indoor track season is usually, it runs like November-ish to maybe right. February, March. But in Los Angeles, they're running indoor track? I don't think that's true. No, that's I'm going to have to look it up. We'll have to find out. <laughs> tune in next week. Yeah, we'll tune in next Where week we and we'll have it. an answer for you. <laughs> right. So, but no, it's interesting. Um, have you, your experiences at indoor track? I've done indoor track. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, and you, it's a unique experience it's when compared to the other running seasons. Okay. So like, it is. for someone who is in high school or college, or even an adult, mm -hmm. you have like your cross country season, Indoor track than outdoor track. Right. At least here in New England in the yeah. colder climate. Yeah. Um, for me, indoor track was always the kind of the worst of the three. 
Really? I like being outside. Right. Free I do too. Chair, you know? I do too. I, I, I really love cross country. Um, and I love that. I love the outdoor track. Yeah. I like, I like being outside too. The indoor, indoor track is a whole different world. I like the competition of indoor track. I feel like it's a little bit more of like fierce. Mm -hmm. I wonder why that is. Because you're all squishy. Because you're enclosed, you know? Like yeah. you're trapped like you're like a corner of animals. Yeah. And you're yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe that adds to that. It does. You're like really close together. Yeah, everyone's on top of you, basically. Exactly. As opposed to being outside on an outdoor track which is much larger, you have more space, so it's interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially because I did all the distance of that, so yeah. like even if you're like it's a two hundred meter track. Okay. For the most part. Okay. Some are a little bit wonky, like there's some 140, 150 yeah. meter tracks, which is super confusing. But the 200 meter tracks are pretty normal. But because it's 200 meters, you end up like, if you're doing a 3,000 or 5,000, you end up like lapping people, and yeah. it's like, you're passing people all the time, and there's people near you all the time, yeah. and it's a little bit, like you said, like, like you get a little claustrophobic and squished, and you're yeah. like... So you, go, you, go, you go a little wild. You go a little wild. So you get wild a little crazy. Um, yeah. Did you have you done indoor track, Ray? Well, yeah, yes. Um, although um, when I was younger and I was running, and I grew up in New England as well, um, in in my state, it really wasn't a huge deal when I was coming up. There were there were indoor tracks. There were indoor there were teams, um, but. My high school, we we didn't really compete. It wasn't we didn't really we didn't have a team. However, my coach was obviously friends with a lot of other coaches, and and uh, we were some of the I, I don't know more the was, studs. Some of the studs, yes. The studs um, would have an opportunity. The speedsters. Yeah, he he would talk to us, um, and you know would tell us when there were meets going on, and um, we. We did participate in some of the indoor track events. Um, I didn't really like it, actually, to tell you the truth. I did. I, I, I ran. Um, I ran distance as well. So I remember, but I did it. You know, I did it a few times. I remember running the three thousand and um, the fifteen, or you know, the mile indoor mile. And I just, yeah, I don't know. Something about it. Yeah. I didn't really love it. So I really spent my winters just building up my base for outdoor track, outdoor. getting my miles in. Gotcha. So. But um, as an adult, I have had an opportunity to run some indoor track events. And they're cool. They are they're fun. cool. I, I liked it more as an adult than when I was in high school. Um, interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Was it like a legit track? Because I remember when I was in high school, we ran basically on a gym floor. This was basically a, yeah, it was like a gym floor. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, uh, you know, it was... You know, move the bleachers, but they did have like lines. the lines. Yeah, and but it was like a gym floor, and it was hard. It was a hard surface, and I didn't like that about it. And I did like tight corners. Yep. And just going around and around a lot more. It was really slippery. Lot more yeah, it wasn't really. Yeah. I remember it being very slippery. Yeah. Like the dust, like this fine dust. <laughs> yeah, exactly. On the track surface, and it, that was tr that was tough. Yeah, I mean, I, if if it were a better track, I might have. Enjoyed it more. I might have had better experience. Maybe just a little more. Yeah. So I just remember like doing the three thousand on the track and something like silly like twenty something laps or like, something ridiculous. Yes, yeah. I remember doing like, twenty two laps or something like that. Twenty two laps. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Ugh. Unbelievable. I was dizzy. Yep. Um, it was hard to breathe. Hard to breathe. This is very dry. Yep. Dry in your sinuses. Yep. Um, it's tough on your lungs. <clears throat> it was awful. Yeah. I remember at the beginning of the race, always feeling like, all right, this is good, mm -hmm. feeling good. And then by about lap 16, 17, I'm like, just, can we make this end? Yeah, just now, hold on to the very end. Oh my Lord, yeah. It was brutal. I remember my first, my first uh, race, which was a 3,000. I was like, I, after, after I was like, oh my God, I feel terrible. And I think I even got sick. I mean, not like I didn't vomit or anything, yeah. but I think I might've been coming down with something too. So that kind of kind of plays into all of it too yeah. because I did get sick I had like a, I don't know like a, a really bad you know cold and so I don't know if that played into it that just kind of soured my feeling for it but you know but as an adult I ran on a really nice track right here in Providence 
The PCTA. PTCA. It's a really nice surface. Uh, it doesn't have um, banked corners, but it's 200 meters, as far as I yep. know. And uh, a little more open than high school tries. And um, nice soft surface. It's like a legit track surface. It's a legit track, yeah. yeah. And, and it was um, it was good. That's I ran um, a 5,000, hmm. which was... I probably would do something shorter next time. That was, that was like... 20 something laps, it was ridiculous. Yeah, that's too much. And, uh, and I felt like I was getting kind of a little dizzy. My uh, calves were kind of cramping up because it was tight, tight corners. So I'd probably do something, little, I'd probably do like a 3,000 or you know, a mile or something next time around. Yeah. If I were going to compete uh, on that track. But it was cool though. It is neat. You know? It is neat. I remember, I don't know if I, I didn't do a ton after I got out of college on the. Of the indoor track scene, but I really enjoyed it in college. I thought it was more. I had a yeah. lot more fun with it in college because, like, the tracks were a little bit better. Yeah. The competition was a little bit better. The atmosphere was kind of fun. So I enjoyed it. I yeah. enjoyed it in college a little bit more than high school. It was kind of cool to just like travel around New England. And see different areas, like go up to Boston and run at BU, and then go over to Yale and run at Yale, and then go yeah. over to uh, Coast Guard, mm -hmm. run at Coast Guard. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Coast Guard stunk because it was like a hundred and sixty meter track or something, yeah. so it was super confusing. You never know like how many laps. Yeah, that can be, I mean, outdoor track can be confusing, but I mean, there's just a little more space to deal with, and, uh, but it can get confusing. Right. Like, you know, I, during that, during the 5,000, I was like, oh, I wasn't really counting my laps, and I was just trying to, you know, I was trying to count, but it was just really hard. Mm -hmm. Hard to keep track, hard to keep track where, where, where you are, you're lapping people, and um, it just gets a little bit... Oh, um, yeah. I remember one time, general. I think... Uh, one girl on my team, I should, I don't know if I should say who it was. It was my wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, so they had people who were like keeping track of your laps. It was a four by eight. And so it was super confusing because it was a 160 meter track. You got a relay going on. Yeah. Each person running 800 meters, which isn't exactly four laps. It's probably something like five and a quarter or something. And so she got to the, the what she thought was the last lap, because somebody told her, this is your last lap. Yeah. So she sprints, boom. Then she gets to the finish, and they're like, you have one more lap to go. Oh, jeez. And she was like, what the F? Yeah. And I remember going down there and yelling at them and being like, you told her she had a lap. What the heck are you doing, man? Yeah. Like brutal. I think this is more likely to happen indoors. It is, yeah. Than outdoor because you, know, you just it's just shorter. You yeah. lose track. Even the officials really can lose track of that kind of thing. So, yeah. Brutal. But yeah, indoor track's fun. I like it. Yeah, I mean in general, I think it's a really neat thing. Um, and I've noticed that you know, I had conversations with runners um, who were running indoor track events. Soon, right? There's a yeah. BU has a the like mini meets going, mini -meets going on. on, and and it's neat to see um, people of all ages. Yeah, men, women, high school, uh, college. high school, college, and I don't. I mean, I know, I know guys in their fifties and sixties, and I went to some of these events, and you know, you, you get you quite the rate, you yeah, know, the age just range. Just you up, and then you like. Yeah, and it's really cool. Yeah, you give them the time you think you're gonna run. Whatever event you're doing from like the 55 to the 3K or 5K, yeah. they seed you, they put you close together, so it's always like a pretty competitive race. And then, I mean, some of the distance events could like, get like 100, 100 people in it or something. Yeah, they have to do multiple heats. Yeah, they do lots of different heats. It's nuts. And I think it's cool because um, it's an opportunity to compete. Mm -hmm. During the winter, where you know there aren't as many here anyway in our area, there aren't as many races. And if there are races, you know it's going to be frigid, uh, could be icy and snowy, and the conditions aren't always ideal. So there's an opportunity to get inside, right? You get climate control, you got a nice track, a lot of different events. 
Yeah. I think it's an opportunity for people to even try different things. You know, I mean, I know, I know a gentleman who's runs distance, but he's he's going to try a sprinting event. Why not uh, next weekend? And I mean, what the heck? I mean, it's kind of cool. Definitely, it's neat. And um, yeah, I agree. And you have throwing events. Mm -hmm. um, there's, you know, but you get the shot. Shot put. Shot put. Hammer. Hammer. Yeah, or yeah. they call it the weight. I the think. weight, yeah, yeah indoors. Indoor. Um, it's really neat. It is kind of fun. Uh, there, I thought um, the, the I did one that was really in, inexpensive. I didn't pay a lot of money. Yeah, it's like, I think it's like ten bucks or something, and for, then event. for each event that you do. So yeah, yeah which is real that. nice. Um, I think it's a good thing. It is. It's uh, fun. Keeps it rolling, and it's a different experience. Right. So. Get you sharpened up for outdoor racing season. Exactly. You know what we should do? We should take a break. We should definitely take a break. Let's take a break. Let's and do then it. We can come back. We'll talk a little bit, maybe a little bit more about those mini meets. I know I've done a few. The mini meets, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're back. We're back. And we're talking indoor track. Indoor track. Um, specifically, we were talking about some of these mini meets that they have in New England here for adults. Yes. Or oh, they're open. So they're open. Can do it. Yeah. Which is super fun. Which I think it's great because it's like. They're open to everyone, mm -hmm. and so whatever ability you have, right? You know, wherever you are, you're welcome to come in and compete. Yeah, what's cool too is they seed you based on your time. Yes. Right. So you could be a sixty-year-old man racing against a college kid. Oh yeah. If you're yeah. In the same time. Yep. Or you could be racing against a nine-year-old. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's fun. I like them too because, like you said before, they're really they're pretty inexpensive for what you get. Like, it's a legit run track meet. You have officials, you have timing that's spot on. You have like hip numbers, bib numbers, um, some solid competition, a really good facility, right. and you pay ten bucks. Right. And so yeah, I mean, and some people might even do a couple um, events. And 10 bucks an event, not bad. Do you know what's cool too is like sometimes you'll even get some like really elite superstars doing these like mini meets in Boston. Yeah. I remember a few years ago Galen Rupp came up and he broke the American record in the 3K and then I think maybe the 5K as well he raced. But it was really cool, it was such a cool atmosphere because like usually when an elite runner is racing, they're either on the road or on like an outdoor track where the stands are like far away. Yeah. In the indoor track, the people are like on top of you. They are on top of you. Yeah. So like the atmosphere is like insane. It is. It's really cool. Yeah, that's really really cool. Have you ever been up to Boston and run one of those suckers? I haven't been up to one of those. I've been. Um, I competed here in Providence. Um, so yeah, we should go up, man. Check it out. There's maybe, one this maybe, weekend. maybe I know there's gonna be for the next few weekends. Maybe I'll maybe I'll compete. Maybe I'll compete. They're fun. They like really the BU track is pretty fast. It's banked. It's okay. So if the corners are banked. On a bank track, no, you should try it. It's fun. It's like a roller coaster. Is it really? Yeah. That'd be cool. You should totally do it. Um, but yeah, it's it's really fun. I've done it a few times, not lately because I'm not really competing as much, but when I was first out of college, I would always, I would go up, even in college, I think we did a couple of them, just to sharpen up before break was over, yeah. um, and they're really fun. Yeah. The one thing I had to know about too, and, um, and not everything um, is associated with um, USA track and field, right. but there are quite a few events that are, I guess, sanctioned by them, Yes. and it's important that if, if you are thinking about doing this, or any of these events, um, to make sure that you, you're USATF certified, right. which is basically an application process, yep. um, proof of your age, you know, identity, and um, and that's a membership actually. So yeah, it's like a it's $30 important. fee, I think. Yeah, and, or something. and for you know for a year, and you could do multiple years if you wanted to, but it's always important to do that because you don't want to go to one of these events that's sanctioned by them and put on by them and find out that you're not certified. And, you won't be able to compete. Yeah, so, that's so it's good to do that. But again, not all of these events are no. put on by USATF, but 
But yeah, most of them will say it on there, on like the yeah. application form or right. something that right. you need to be a USATF member. Um, yeah, indoor track, man. What event would you, because we run distance, right? Yeah. What event would you like to do that isn't kind of in your wheelhouse? It's a good question. Good question. Well, thank you. I mean, I, <laughs> right, thank you very much. You know, I would, you tip, I mean, I would do the distance events. You typically would. I typically would. So if I were, if I had to pick something different, it would be kind of neat to try, I don't know if I would do a weight event, but I might do a, a shorter, like maybe a 200 or a 400. Mm. Maybe a 400, because I think I can, you know, I think I'd enjoy that. Yeah. 400 meters. 400 meters, that'd be yeah. fun. I probably wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't do a 55, I just don't know that I would... You know what I think you would be good at? What? The high jump. The high jump, really? You maybe, got the. You know what? Maybe I would try the high you jump. You got the high jumper build. Yeah. You know? I might try it. Long jump, maybe. Do a little long jump. Yeah. I have to think about that. The high jump. That'd be fun. Although you do have like the Usain Bolt build as well. <laughs> I don't know about that. You're, you're tall. You think like the taller? Yeah. Yeah. You just get the legs going, and you'd be crushing the fifty-five. The 55 would be, oh, well, you know, I mean, I would try it. What the heck? I would try oh, it. But, but so the 400 would be my first, the 400 probably be my first choice. Okay. Cool. How about you? Hmm. I think I'd like to throw the weight. The weight? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think you're good at that. I would not be very good. You're powerful. At it's, uh, it's heavy. It's heavy. They're no, I, don't, I think I would like to do, because in college I used to run the 800 and the 1500. Yeah. So I'd like to maybe do like you were saying, like the two hundred, the four hundred, mm -hmm. just to like really get going, you know? Yeah. I, I used to fun. enjoy doing um four hundreds in my track workouts in high school. Yeah. Yeah. No, I used to like eat them up, love them. You know what I mean? But but I there's no way I wanted to do that as like a uh, competition. Did well, you, I just didn't feel like I was fast enough to do it. Yeah. But I don't know. It'd be neat to try. You ever do one like a four hundred just all out? Um, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm sure I have, but yeah. but not in a competition. No, you know what I mean, like practice or something. Like that. I used to always be super jealous of the sprinters on the track team because they didn't have to do anything. <laughs> well, they weren't like having to put in all the miles and stuff like that. Right. And the races are shorter, but now it's... I'd be like, oh, today the distance crew is doing thirty-two two hundreds. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing four one fifties, <laughs> and then we're gonna. Um, just practice getting off blocks. <laughs> We're going to practice block. We're going to, you know. Shut up. What the heck? You. Yeah. Well, yeah, that used to be frustrating. We're out there till freaking dark. Oh, man. Running. And that was just it. That's why I never did an all-out 400 because we were always, like, we would do 12 to 16 of them. Right. You know. Blast out the last one through one, too, but, yeah. <laughs> Sprinters, man. Jealous. I'm just super jealous. But yeah, I loved uh, indoor track. It was fun. You know what was funny? And like when you go to different tracks, the difference between the surface and the atmosphere mm -hmm. definitely definitely plays a role on how your race goes. Like not just the competition, yeah. but mm -hmm. like I remember at BU is a very kind of fast track. It's banked. It's kind of up off the ground, yeah. so it like rebounds and gives something back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas, like if you go to where did I run? Harvard. Harvard is a little bit of a. It's banked, but it's like not. It's like just a flat kind of. No, it's banked, but it's like not up off the ground. It's kind of like a cement thing that banks it up, so it doesn't give as much back to you. Yeah, it's firmer. Okay. Um, and then you go to like other places and they're not banked and they're flat. Right. And then I remember at Yale, Yale was, when I did it, it was flat. And there was a big heating system on the back stretch that would blast you in the face. Really? Every time you ran by it. That's crazy. So you do like 3K and you, you have to, Do you have to like duck? <laughs> you have to duck so you don't hit your head. No, it wasn't like that, but it was like a hot wave right in your face. Yeah. 22, 23 times. It doesn't feel too good when you're exerting yourself. No. Yeah. No. Ugh. 
But so yeah, so facility is really important. Right. You know, um, the quality of, of, of the facility. Mm. And I think too, it's like, you can see that in a lot of those like sports too, like right. baseball fields, the different basketball shapes arena, and things. Yeah, 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 exactly. The, the feng shui of, you know, the, the whole thing. Of the building, you know, or yeah, it's like playing a basketball game at the old TD Garden, you know. Yes, yeah, yeah, the old garden. It's like the ambiance of it. Yeah. Same thing with the tracks, the indoor tracks. They every track has a different feel to it, right? Which is kind of fun. I enjoyed that. And I don't, I don't do a lot of indoor track running now, but I think I, after this episode, I want to try it. You're gonna do tons of it now. I want to get back into it, bro. I mean, I, I enjoy. Like I said, I really. At the events I ran as an adult, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. I'd probably do something shorter, though. I wouldn't do a 5,000. Do a 3K. 3K is a good distance. 3K is a good distance. I think I'd even, I'd like to try like a mile or 1,500, you know. Wow, that'd, right. be, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. Is there one coming up? I feel like there was one, the Masters mm-hmm. meet. Yeah, there's a Masters meet. Um, usually it's the end of January, early February here in town. Right. It's like a, a New England, you know. Region um, Masters event. Sweet. So, but you go to these some of these events. These people are like traveling from all over. In that particular event in New England, are people from all over New England, and then they're all talking about going down to like national competitions. And That's the so thing is, see, with that the USATF membership, yeah, you can compete in your like regional meet and then qualify to go run at the nationals. Right. Yeah. So. Kind of a neat thing. It is. And there's lots of clubs and things that are USATF clubs. Right. So you get the whole team camaraderie thing. There was, there was a group of, um, I think they're out of Massachusetts, but it's probably a New England thing. Um, but they're throwers. There was one group of throwers and they, they all knew each other and yeah. hanging out. And they went out afterward. They were talking about going out afterward and just, yeah, it's kind of a neat thing. Right. It's like their little tribe. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, and you can do it as a team too. You could like whatever you know. You go and compete at these events, and you can compete um, under your team's name. You know, if you want to do in some of these events. Yep, it's kind of neat. You try, you know. Yeah, I think it's fun. Yeah, you gonna do any? You got any plans this this year? You thinking? I was thinking about doing maybe one of those uh, the B races. You should definitely do it. Yeah, and maybe the race here in town um, later this winter. So. You know what's funny about the BU track? When I was in college, everybody kept telling me how fast the track was. Mm-hmm. Super fast, right? Yeah. So I'm going into this race like I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna PR. PR the this you get. You get slowest times there. Yeah. You, really? Slow uh, as all get. But did you feel pumped and psyched about it? Until we, I felt pumped and psyched until about lap four. Yeah. Uh, when I had four laps to go, and I'm looking at the clock. Maybe you got cocky. That's the thing. I think I got cocky. I think I got like, pff, I don't even have to work. I the track will do all the fun. The track's gonna just pull me along. It doesn't work like that. You know, maybe you psych yourself out too. Maybe it just, you know. Could be. I, uh, you know, you yeah, I think I psyched myself out. Like I was like, ah, PR, I'm running so fast. And then I got there and just like, didn't happen, man. You're gonna have to go up again. Yeah, I don't think there's any PRs in my future, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, it depends Maybe on the event. Like, that's true. See, that's the thing. Do like, do do like a, a 200. 200 meter run. Do a 55 and that's an automatic PR right there. Right. I've never run a 55. <sighs> See? Uh, you could do that. You could just say, hey, I got my 50, 55. Uh, PR to the PR. shop put this weekend. Yeah, try PR and the hammer. <laughs> so I threw the hammer. 14 feet? <laughs> yeah. That's my PR. PR? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I jumped one foot, three inches. They, PR, baby. They don't have the javelin in, in, indoors, do they? <laughs> no. no. That could just be a Just kidding. Oh, that'd be horrible. You could throw it over the track. That's right. Into the wall. It's, uh, it's, it's two big javelins. That's what it is. <laughs> it's different. The technique is much different than a uh, regular javelin. They do darts. Darts, exactly. Yeah. Cricket. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Indoor track. Yeah, so I mean, get out there and do it, folks. I think so. I mean, do it. Like, so you have this block of time here, at least in the colder climate, where it's snowy, it's icy, you probably don't want to do much of anything. Yeah. If you sign up for a BU mini meet or a meet wherever you're at in North Dakota, 
Yeah. Or Finland. Finland is Finland, yeah. Sign sure up for a meet. Sign up for a meet. And just do it. Yeah. I mean, just go, have fun. It's a different running experience. Exactly. You know, it's like you have your trails, you've got your ultras, you've got your shorter distances, road races. It's just a different experience um, for runners. And it's, it's fun, and it's something to you know, keep your interests alive, you know, during the when, I mean, a lot of people around here are training for things, you know, training for spring marathons and half marathons, but it's kind of a good way to get out there and a different competition. Yeah, like for me, I used to use, there was like this trail series in the winter that I would always oh, do. Oh, yeah. Just to keep me doing something. Yeah. But now I think that's gone away, so now I need something to keep me doing stuff for yeah. the winter. Yep. Indoor track, man. Right. Indoor track. Yeah, there are events. There are events to um, in, in a lot of areas. You, you just research them, search them out, and put them on your calendar. Good plan, bro. Yeah, I think we gotta wrap this up. We though. do have to wrap this up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, episode forty-two is done. Done. We're gonna put a bow on it. Yes. Put it under the tree. <laughs> um, what's our calendar look like? Are we taking a break? What are, what are, we will. We're going to have a holiday hiatus. Yeah. Our annual holiday hiatus because we can say annual now because we've been, you know, we've been we've doing been this. doing this for a year now. Yeah, yeah. So I think that what we'll do is um, have one more podcast next week. Yeah. And then take like a couple of weeks because we won't be able to, you know, record on right. the... Christmas. Christmas and New Year's, New Year's Day. And, yeah, so. yeah. So we'll take maybe a two week, a couple of weeks, two, two yeah. three week hiatus. Yeah. And we'll be back with episode 43. But next week, next week we'll be back with episode yeah, 43. 43 next week. Yeah. And then after that. And then we'll take a little break. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good, man. Thanks for tuning in, people. Thank you, folks. <laughs>